Well, hey, this morning we're looking at the tropics now and things are still fairly quiet. I'll say, talk about why it's only fairly quiet at the moment, but in July, where do the storms form? Well, typically we still watch here the Northwest Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico and off the East Coast of the United States. That's one area you could possibly see development over the next couple of days. We also look now back in the Atlantic here, kind of just west of the greater and lesser Antilles here for possible development. And you can see the track they take usually here into the Caribbean and then possibly up to the north as well, too. So we'll be watching those areas, those hot spots for development this time of year, but really not much else going on in the tropics. The big picture shows pretty quiet out here in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, but one area here now invest 98 new update coming from the hurricane center 60 to 70% chance of development over the next five days as a slow over the coast of South Carolina works its way off the North Carolina coast and up the eastern seaboard there possibly developing a tropical or subtropical system. So one need to keep an eye on that. We don't have to worry about it, but if you're traveling that way to North Carolina, the outer banks. You have to deal with that. Winds are at 25. You can see moving east at 9 and turning northeast here, riding right along the coast. So anywhere from uh, the uh, Chesapeake Bay all the way to the Boston Harbor area and beyond, they'll be dealing with potentially some uh, wet weather as we head into the upcoming weekend.